So before we continue with today's video, I want to thank our sponsor, which is Dossier. Dossier is my favorite online fragrance company. You guys know I've worked with them so much this year, especially. Dossier specializes in inspired by fragrances of our cult designer favorites. And the best thing is they are all at a fraction of the price. These are two of my favorites. You can see I've used so much of them and these are like seconds and thirds and fourths, honestly, of these fragrances. And both of these are also some of their best sellers, but they really have so many different fragrances. It's so cool because you can just go on their website and type in your favorite fragrance. So you can type in the Labo Santal 33 and the dupe will show up. So these are two of my favorite fragrances. This is Ambery Saffron, which is inspired by Baccarat Rouge. And this is Woody Sandalwood, which is inspired by La Labo Santal 33. I always get compliments on these fragrances whenever I wear them, and people will always guess if they are the actual fragrance that it's inspired by. Their fragrances start at only $29, and I also have a 10% off coupon code for you guys, so I will link them down below. This is such a great gift idea and such a great way to treat yourself even. Be bougie, feel bougie, smell nice, on a budget. Thank you so much to Dossier. Again, everything will be linked down below, and let's continue on with the rest of the video. Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning, literally like 7 a.m. I've been waking up at like 4.30. I think today it was like 4.50, but literally feel like wondering why I've always woken up so early. Um, I was fucking raised like that. Um, but also the pets all wake up at like 5, especially the puppy, you know, I mean the cat too, honestly. So I just be up and it's not really hard at this point because we also all go to bed so early. So anyway, I don't like... That's fine with me, bitch. Like, Y'all know I go to sleep early and wake up early anyway. I'm just doing my morning skincare. I got my Ulta package from Black Friday yesterday, and I thought I would show you guys what's in it, but as of now, here's what I'm using. I just used the Hydrating CeraVe Cream to Foam Cleanser. My skin was kind of peeling just from it being dry outside. I don't know if exfoliating it was the best thing, but I used this Mad Hippie Microdermabrasion. I just worked with them a few weeks ago. So yeah, now I'm using this herbivore cloud jelly, which is like vegan collagen and like a plumping hydration serum. I've really been enjoying this. I feel like it makes my skin look cute and I just think it's so pretty and cute. I'm using a random eye cream. This is from Dr. Brandt. It's their triple peptide eye cream. I mostly like brightening eye creams or like a caffeine eye cream in the morning. But low-key my like eyelids have been dry because it's been cold out. So I'm just gonna use those. So I was just doing some work, drinking my coffee. My parents just went to go walk the dogs. And I'm gonna eat and then go to the gym in a little bit. A classic. I definitely prefer this to the lotion. The lotion's like a little greasy, but this is just like thick hydration, you know, moisturization. Then I need to come back, do a GRWM, and then film some brand deals and stuff and I want to try to do some TikToks. One of the things I got from Ulta is this new SPF. This is from Hero. I've used their pimple patches before and this was on sale like get one, buy one, get one 50% off or something. So I got two but it was one of the sunscreens they had that was a reasonable price and that was zinc based instead of chemical based whatever. So hopefully it's good because I did buy two of them. This is my first time trying it okay so far it has like no smell let's see if it has like a white cap yeah so far it's pretty easy to to blend you know how some sunscreens especially zinc sunscreens can be kind of like like a weird texture like it's hard to kind of spread them out yeah it literally has like no scent Okay, Hero. I actually really like it so far. I feel like you can tell a lot of a sunscreen just based on like the first application. Yeah, I'm glad that worked out. It did have good reviews, um, but yeah, I kind of took a chance by buying two, so I like it. Let me just put everything away. Okay, so just a few more things I got from Ulta. I've only tried one of these things. Well, I guess now two since I have these. I needed more of this Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. They also had a really good Black Friday deal. I forget what it was. It might have been get, buy one, get one half off. Ulta had a lot of good deals and I'm not even a huge Black Friday shopper. I'm not like, oh my God, like y'all probably get the vibes. Like I'm not like, oh my God, this is what I got from the Sephora sale. Like I just kind of get what I need, whatever. I don't know. But I did need some new products and it just happened to follow along Black Friday. So anyway, got more of this. I do like it. And my hair is very thick and like bleached so kind of need that so then i decided to try some shea moisture body products which i've never tried i got their relaxing body cream which i thought was cute i kind of needed like 
another body cream. It has been getting pretty cold here, so wanted that. And then I also got their Lavender and Wild Orchid Calming Hand and Body Scrub. And I feel like the majority of the time I've been here back in Washington, it's been like cold and dry, not like wet and like stormy. Like there's been a few days of that, but it's mostly just been cold and like dry. I'm not a huge scrub girl. Like, you know when people buy like the, what is it, Body Hut? ones and they have like 30 of them in their shower and it's like okay please relax consumerism i feel like they don't always work like i feel like people think they work because they have oil in them so they leave your skin feeling soft but it's not like they're actually exfoliating i prefer to physically exfoliate or like i guess it is physically i prefer to exfoliate with like a korean spa mint that will really get your fucking skin off like if you use a body scrub on your self tan it's not gonna really come off but if you use a korean spa mint bitch your whole tan will come off but anyway, I just kind of wanted to try it because it was on sale and it sounded cute. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. It kind of kind of smells odd, but we'll try it out. So just a couple more things. I got these small sizes of this Redken Frizz Dismiss shampoo and conditioner. I currently have their All Soft, and it's like okay. I don't know. It's just kind of hard to tell. I feel like my hair just looks dry in general because it's again really thick it's kind of like has a wavy texture like it's not completely straight and obviously it's been bleached for years so i thought i would just try this one so i got the smaller sizes the all soft bottles have lasted me so long so it is worth the price i guess again it's like what is it really doing but i thought i would just try this and then i wanted a new heat protectant blow dry spray something and this pacifica one had really good reviews so we're gonna try it i low-key thought it was gonna be a bigger bottle but it's the vegan silk blowout shine smooth and protect yeah it's like for when your hair is wet right before you're, right before you blow dry let's smell this people were saying it smells really good oh my god it does it smells like real vanilla like you know like it smells like cookie dough like that you just put vanilla extract in not like a cheap candle <laughs> so that's everything i got again it's not like a huge haul but it was some stuff i needed and some fun stuff as well so that's it but i'm gonna go eat and get ready to go to the gym we're doing some training now let's show the people what we've learned no sit good boy stand good stand okay it's fine um pa. oh good boy stay This has been very exciting. My dad and I just filmed our Q&A finally, so that'll be up if it's not already up. And now I'm just waiting for my mom to get home. Yeah, where is she? Can you just be in a nice cuddly mood? Please? No, don't bite that. I just wanna like wash my face. Literally like having a baby. Hey guys, it's a few days later. I was just doing some editing. It's Saturday, so I didn't go to the gym today. Recently, I haven't been going to the gym on Saturday and Sunday because I feel like since it gets dark so early here, like literally 3.30, I feel like it starts to get dark, especially when it's gray outside, like cloudy. I just feel like there's not enough time in the day to do everything I want to do, especially as far as filming content goes. And I feel like going to the gym takes so long because I walk there and back and I don't know, just because I go to a physical gym now, I feel like my workouts are lengthier because I have like full equipment versus before. Ever since the pandemic, or I guess after they reopened gyms after lockdown and stuff, I never went back to a real gym. I was just always using my apartment gym, which was fine, but I was kind of limited in what I could use. So now being back at like a real full gym, it's kind of like, just like Disneyland. I wanted to do a book haul. <laughs> Y'all love when I talk about books, but I feel like Whenever I make a full video about books, it does not seem to do well. So do y'all like the book content or not? I don't know how many books I read last year, but I swear it was like four. So one of my goals this year was to read more books. I started using my Goodreads account again, which if you don't know, is an app slash website where you can track books, read reviews of books, make lists of different books, whatever. And they have like a reading challenge thing you can do each year. Just a great way to keep track of the books you read. And I did 12 books for the year, bitch. Right now I'm at 27 and I think I'm gonna get to 30, which is like two and a half books a month. Shout out to me. So this is my current read. One of the first books I read this year was this author's 
was it her first book called three women which was a new york times bestseller and this one i think came out this year i remember three women being kind of depressing it is about three women three separate storylines it's kind of depressing i remember so she came out with this one this year and this one is nine short stories just about different women and I don't really know how I feel about it yet. Also the first story was in second person which is like when they use you like oh you were doing this and then you thought this and the character was just like I don't want to say it was triggering but it was just like a very negative read. She was like this successful businesswoman that lived in LA and had like made it because she had this really successful reality show or something. But it's like all she thought about was this guy that dumped her and like calories and just all the times it would be like you wondered how many calories were in this. It was like it just was like very depressing to read because I just feel like like yeah I mean we all go through things but like my mindset like I'm just not in that kind of mindset right now. So I feel like it has gotten better but I wonder how I'll feel about it like as I finish it i don't want to say it's like triggering i could see it being triggering for someone but it's more so just depressing like you know when you read a something or you watch a video about something who went through something and you feel like inspired after or maybe like represented or less alone like oh like re you can relate to it so you're like oh my god like other women go through this other people go through this whatever i just like don't really feel that reading this like i feel like these bitches are kind of dumb and it's like women of all different ages and all different stages of life but it's like still just i don't I don't know so we'll see I don't know we'll see I'll probably finish it because I just kind of want to know like how it progresses but I don't really like how it kind of switches like one story will be in second person one story will be in first person then it will go to third person it's like I just wish it was a little easier to read I don't know and then in my discord there's like a book what's it called like category like thread and someone recommended this book M Train by Patti Smith and she said I think she recommended her other book but I was told this was kind of like an Eve Babbitt's book in the vibe of like it's chic you know she's in New York for some of it and it's just kind of like stories I don't know I read the first chapter so far let me know if you're someone who can like read multiple books at once I feel like I can especially when they're like kind of different vibes I feel like I haven't read enough to like get into the flow of it yet you know so i don't really know the vibe of it yet but i pretty much know the vibe of it so far but we'll see and then my mom gave me this book to read which i was like please she was trying to read this and then she was like i think this is better for your age demographic so we're gonna see it's like a rom-com just like for funsies i don't know so this is kind of my last priority but like you know we're gonna finish all of them hopefully and then i'll be at 30 books for the year also i tried those new products the new hair products from my ulta haul and I think I like them. It's kind of hard to tell with the shampoo and conditioner. Like, bitch, it's my first time using them. But I did use the Pacifica, like, blow drying spray. And I really like it. It just smells so good. And, like, I feel like it did make a difference in me blow drying my hair today. I really need to get the, like, blow out, like, blow dry curl down. Because I feel like I've got it down of, like, how to section my hair. I didn't even know how to do that for the longest. And just that alone has made the biggest difference. I'm not, like the best at blowouts but at least I can blow dry my hair smooth and like it is all pretty much the same I don't really like I need to figure out what's going on with this I want to learn how to get the really good like flip you know because it kind of had it when I first did it but but I don't know so that's kind of my next thing tonight my goal is to do my nails so I got this um gel nail kit from Amazon and people did warn me once I posted on my story like be careful because you have to make sure it's certified and whatever i don't know because this one had really good reviews like so many positive reviews and i tried it yesterday on my toes and i really like it it's a uv lamp of 48 watts so i think it's typically recommended to get one over 40 and yeah i just did like a french petty i did a pretty good job for it being like my first time doing that and just like my first time even painting my toenails myself in the longest time so i went to a nail tech in la bitch i went to this girl since i first moved to la and i followed her throughout so much like i first found her from this random nail salon that i went to when i lived in hollywood and i would just always go to her and then she started her own business and so i kept going to her and we just became super super tight like it's so sad when you have to leave connections like that it's like yeah bitch if i was balling i would fly her out like people literally fly her out to do 
their nails. So since going to like a home-based nail tech, it's like I don't want to go to a random nail salon, especially for my feet. Just so many places are unsanitary and it's just like, especially if I'm kind of in like stack mode right now, it's like I might as well just learn to do it myself. And it's something I enjoy, like my nails, especially the times I've done my nails, it's just like relaxing for me. Like that's relaxing, like doing them myself is relaxing versus going to someone, especially a random that you don't know. It's like literally it brings me so much anxiety i hate it i sweat and then i get more nervous because i'm sweating and it's just like these are press-ons and a couple of them have fallen off it's been like i think three weeks so these kiss press-ons really last i'd really recommend them so my goal tonight is to take them off and give myself a little manicure i think i'm just going to try to paint my nails and use the gel nail kit so we're gonna see but i have like so many different tools now to do my nails with and that really makes it so much easier but yeah it's just like a little relaxing fun activity so i'm gonna finish editing let me actually let me show you what's in this nail kit though because i never showed y'all this is not sponsored but i will link it down below uv lamp obvi this i bought separately it's like a pedicure kit and then this i bought separately like tiny little nail art brushes but yeah it came with so many different tools like amazing and all these different colors i did get this color separately because it is a jelly color which i like for like french pedicures and stuff but technically i didn't need to like they do have a lot of different colors in here but i used this yesterday along with the white and i really liked this it's just like a jelly kind of pink nude i think i will probably use this on my nails tonight then i might try to do some nail art but i don't know i might be over it at that point but yeah like how cute is that like it really worked and it has like the base coat and the top coat and a matte top coat which i don't really like matte but whatever and i was watering all my plants so anyway that's the vibe i'm going to finish editing and then do my nails okay y'all so my nails yesterday did not work out i did one hand and i just did not like the look of it at all so i took it off when i was taking off my press-ons i kind of ripped this nail a little bit which is so bad it just really hurt so i'm just gonna like let them chill for a few days let them grow out a little and then try again because i do know i can do it i did my toes like really good it can be hard to do your hands you know anyway i wanted to give you guys a little haul part of this was gifted and part of it is a bath and body works 9.95 candle day haul so we're gonna start with that i got four candles bath and body works candles i don't know i feel like they're a little childish they used to be like so like amazing to me but especially after burning one i got them last night so i was burning one today it low key's burning really fast my cheaper target candles that are around the same size maybe even a little better burned slower than this the scents are very potent but it just burns so fast. I don't know. I probably won't be purchasing these again. I haven't gotten Bath and Body Works candles in the longest time. But I just thought it was candle day. So I decided to order a few. And I don't know. I feel like just having less of my own space now that I'm back home. It's just like I want things to make my room feel cozy and just like my space. So it's not like I regret getting them. But it's kind of like I'm not like obsessed. Anyway, I got Tree Farm. You guys probably know this. But I really like scents that are woody or spicy or like like more masculine scents or more natural scents and definitely more like fall winter i don't want an ocean candle i don't want i don't really like citrus candles honestly i don't want a vanilla candle like i want just like a nice sandalwood like pine fir like cedarwood like <laughs> anyway so this is tree farm it's kind of a mix of like spice and pine this is the one i was burning and look how much it burned bro like why did it burn already like half an inch or more like it was not burning for that long today but anyway it's cute it's festive then i got mahogany teak wood just the regular one not the like super one because i feel like my parents are not gonna like this this is like the classic like men's cologne like walking into abercrombie in 2009 scent it's just so good i really like the scent and i love that they have this like holiday themed version then i got fresh balsam 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 this is literally just like a christmas tree scent it's very basic and fresh and nice and i like this and then the last one i got was leaves this is another one i have tried before and it's it smells kind of like like hot spiced apple cider so it is on the sweeter side but it's not like overpoweringly sweet you know it's like kind of spicy and like cinnamony and like just nice and fall and holiday and just nice so that's what i got again not obsessed but at least they were like over 50% off, you know? So shout out. If you got any candles on candle day, let me know. Let me know what your favorite candle is in general if you have one, like a brand. Because these just feel really childish to me. I don't know. Anyway, 
this clothing site called Timu reached out and wanted to send me some clothes in exchange for a feature. And after looking over their site, I was like sold. They have really cute stuff and just a lot of really trendy stuff. So I got this little crop top from them. It came in a three pack and I believe they had different colors as well. But I got this green, a black, and a white. And they're all kind of like this square neckline which i don't really have anything like that so i thought this was cute just like a basic i also got some more leg warmers like they just had so many trendy things these are just white knit leg warmers they had so many different leg warmers as well so now onto the really fun stuff i got this knitted sweater vest which i thought would be so cute with like i don't know like some trousers or like a skirt kind of tucked in you know get that kind of british vibe <laughs> like a schoolgirl vibe like I don't know perfect for the holidays and i don't know i'm just excited to see how i can style this then we have these really wide leg cargo pants i got them a size up because i wanted them to definitely be baggy on me and mostly long enough so they're super baggy and then the bottoms you can cinch them if you want i probably won't like i really want just like that baggy vibe yeah they have pockets and a drawstring pocket in the back these are just so cute to me this was some sneakers and like the white crop top version of this it's just like you can't go wrong with that you know but then i can also layer this in the winter like this with a hoodie and this puffer coat i got that's just so cute and it's comfy but it's trendy but it's you know it's easy then i got this cargo skirt which ever since i seen bella hadid wear something like this i wanted it but it's just this cargo like super long like baggy cargo skirt i don't have anything like this this is like one of those things in middle school you would like never wear this like you know i mean maybe the kids now are doing it because baggy and just like i don't know this kind of style is more trendy but bitch when i was in middle school it was like skinny jeans like you could not wear anything that was not skinny jeans and like leggings like yoga pants was as flared as you could be but they had to be super tight on the top Anyway, so yeah, I'm excited to style this as well and just see like what I can wear with this. But I feel like this is also something that you, know, you can wear with winter. Like I really want to get some wool tights so I can start wearing more dresses and skirts and stuff. But then you could also wear this in like the spring, you know, with a little like crop top or a little cardigan and just be like small on the top, big on the bottom. And then just two more items. I got this cropped hoodie just like for the gym and I guess just for like outfits as well i feel like a lot of my hoodies are oversized which i typically prefer i only have one or maybe i have two that are kind of more cropped and like actually fit me so i just wanted to get another one you know for layering and things like that and then the last item probably the thing i'm most excited about is this big black puffer jacket so oversized and i just feel like this is exactly what i've been needing i have a couple puffers but they're just kind of more like like one's American Eagle, you know, it's like, I just wanted something that was more like masculine in the sense of more like baggy and oversized and like, not like kind of cropped with a fur hood, which is like what I currently have. And this is nice too, because when I want to wear like an oversized hoodie or sweater or something, I can wear this over it and it's actually going to like fit together. Super good quality. The zipper is like super smooth. Um, and I'm just really impressed with this all of these items in fact so if you want to check out timu i will link all these products down below but thank you so much to them for sending me some pieces i'm not getting paid for this but they did send them to me as a gift so thank you so much to them and follow me on ig for some outfit pics one of my like winter goals i guess is like just to wear more cute outfits you know because especially when i'm back home it's just so easy to be comfy all the time and like and that's like fine there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes i just want to look back on a time and be like wow like i was so cute like my outfit i love my outfit and it's always like in the summer i'm like oh i miss like winter fashion because i want to bundle up and like wear layers so i just really need to take advantage of that so anyway thank you so much to timu and yeah i think that's pretty much it y'all i'm gonna end the vlog here so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more upcoming vlogs and a q a with my sister that i want to do she's coming home in a few days so i'm so excited to see her and don't forget to follow me on ig tiktok and my new podcast ig and check out dossier as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye everyone